There seems to be a never-ending supply of allegations against YouTubers and Twitch streamers and kick streamers and internet personalities in general, and today we have one that's a little bit tricky. I was scouring the internet looking for a topic of discussion for today when I ran across a Google document throwing around some very serious allegations against a YouTuber that goes by the name of OuijiPie. OuijiPie is a YouTuber with over 2 million subscribers that makes a lot of Super Mario 64 machinima and other Mario-related YouTube videos. I want to go over all the allegations in this Google document, I want to go over OuijiPie's response, and I want to go over who made these allegations and the connections they have to OuijiPie. So I was looking around for a topic of discussion today and I came across this Reddit post, which says, OuijiPie exposed as a pedophile and major creep. And then there's a bunch of trigger warnings and saying, basically a reliable source, a friend of OuijiPie's for two plus years, made a huge document exposing all of the public creepiness that he's done. The whole document is here. OuijiPie, after the document came out, said that he was going to continue making videos in the comment section of his latest video, and nothing else has been said on his YouTube thus far. So I decided, sure, I'll click on this. I'll see what's up in this uh, in this Google Doc. So I want to go over this whole Google Doc. It is quite lengthy, but I do want to touch up on most things stated in here because they are pretty serious. I also want to go over who made it, how it's made, and OuijiPie's response afterwards. So just for context, OuijiPie is 18 years old as of the making of this video, and the people exposing him and the people that he was talking to in these messages are all minors and were minors when all this was happening. So as you can see right away, this says OuijiPie re-exposed context slash trigger warnings. This is a serious doc in parentheses, which makes me kind of think that it's less serious, but we're going to go through this as if all of it was real and then talk about it later. It says all screenshots come from various victims of Ouija Pie from various places and times. Do not harass or go after anyone mentioned in this document. It's meant to be a call out doc on the popular YouTuber Ouija Pie. And it goes on to say all of the accounts that are named inactive Ouija, Lucas Hart, Dal Do I Know and Ouija Pie are all the same person. So in all these messages, those screen names right there are Ouija Pie. They're all just his different usernames. It says here there are multiple occasions of Ouija Pie having sexual discussions with minors as well as sending and receiving sexual images with minors. And it shows some of his Discord messages of him being very explicit with people that are underage. He says things like, would you still want to seg if I was your cousin? And then they're talking back and forth. He says, when do I get to see your panties? All this different, very explicit stuff that I'm not going to read because of YouTube. Ouija Pie asking and receiving for explicit images from a minor. And it shows here they're censored and I don't even really want to scroll by them, but they're censored pictures of him sending nudes to a minor. Here's another message of him talking to a minor saying that he was masturbating in a voice call uh, with his friends. And she says, at least your homies didn't notice. And it goes on to say the homies in question were also minors. Ouija Pie masturbated in a voice chat with minors. So that's another thing that's also going to be brought up later where he would do that with his friends who are underage in the voice channel. There are DMs between him and a minor on Roblox that he screenshotted himself and shared to his friend in Discord and even said that he is a groomer of minors. He said that about himself in this Discord message. And this is a screenshot of another minor who was flashed by Ouija Pie after they called him a virgin. He responded to this with screenshots of video files containing him and a 14 year old having sex as well as describing it. So he literally linked the video files to his friend saying that is what this is. I did this describing what's in it, saying what she was wearing, everything that she did, crazy. And please don't let this be lost on you. This is also admission to owning child. And then it goes on to say that he raided someone else's server that was also full of minors and spammed a bunch of pornographic pictures in their channels, just a bunch of different censored pictures, him telling his discord, just do it. All he'll say is, uh, uh, then kick you. There are screenshots of a friend of the server owner that are complaining about the raid saying your, your server was raided, these people came out of nowhere, started pinging everyone with sent porn, a couple of people are spamming, spamming your server, all like the Discord mods of that server saying, hey, your server's being spammed, hey, hey, what's going on? And then we have another person in this Google Doc saying, hello, I'm Pyro, the victim's close friend, and I wanted to come onto this document thanks to Hush being kind enough to provide a space to finally put everything together. So Lucas, or Ouija Pie, had met my friend around July of 2022. He added her after seeing a video that was posted to her YouTube, and I guess he liked her art. And then there's DMs between Pyro and the girl that Ouija Pie was talking to. The girl saying that a YouTuber followed her and that YouTuber was Ouija Pie. Proof that it was him that followed her, that it was Ouija Pie that followed her on Twitter. And then these are the early messages between Ouija Pie and the girl. Now, Already he's sending her things like, I know which one I would choose. It's like, I like you, I love you, I would date you and all this stuff. 
tweets that say can't draw too busy being in love. And this is him and the girl victim speaking after like one day. And he's sending her those things. He'd post stuff like this constantly because my friend didn't take him as a threat. She'd just ignore and change the topic, but he'd just keep insisting on it, almost as if he wanted her to respond and to fulfill his weird fantasies. After a while, the conversations took a very serious turn, with him not even trying to hide what his real intentions were. And he's saying, my feeling when I accidentally kiss you IRL, Ooh, oops, my lips magically flew in your direction, I'm dying, it's so funny. And then him just like pretending to kiss her over and over and her just saying like laughing my ass off. Whoops. Him saying that she's an ideal girlfriend. Again, they've been talking for maybe three days. He also became very dependent and obsessive, making her feel like it was her responsibility to make him happy and anything below that was her fault. And here we have her saying my stomach just hurts a lot when I'm stressed and him saying why are you stressed? What's wrong? I'm here for you. You can tell me if you want. I'm here. Did something happen? Just spamming her with like these emojis and so many different messages. After a while, she decided to confront him about it, explaining how uncomfortable she truly was, and all he did was act like the victim, saying how he never had a true friend and how he was excited that someone in this godforsaken earth was paying attention to his sorry little ass. And she says, Hi Lucas, to be truthful, I've been quite stressed lately because of the tweets that I've been seeing, replying to the drawings I made and stuff, basically just the troll ones. I'm basically just a really sensitive person in general, and getting tweets like that messes with my head sometimes. I mean, I understand that I can't please everyone, but it still kind of sucks. I just wanted to clear something else up. You seem like a cool person, but the way you talk to me right now is like in a way that someone really, really close to me would talk. I mean, for instance, Pyro and I have been talking for almost two years now, and we don't even really talk like that. We've known each other for barely even four days, and the way you talk is like how I would talk to a significant other. I don't even know what the age gap between us is. I honestly didn't know what to say when you said I was out of your league and stuff. And all the kissing and hugging and marrying talk makes me very uncomfortable. I can't get my head around someone caring about me that much when I've only known them for a little while. I just wanted to set things straight before things got worse. Sorry. But I want to be mature from here out. I'm trying to be as transparent as possible. Now, the way this message is worded does seem very legit. It seems like she's just stressed out, doesn't really know what to say. It's just like, hey, I'm kind of uncomfortable. Don't really uh, like this kind of talk. It seems a little weird for someone I just met. Can we just not do that and move forward and be like, friends and mature. It seems like a real response. Now, I want to interject here and just say that the victim here, the girl that's talking to Ouija Pie, it was a minor when this happened and is still a minor, which is why her name is not being mentioned. Um, it's, she, it's being left vague who this person is. She is not of age. I believe she's 15 years old. So keep that in mind. That is why there are no names being thrown around here. Ouija Pie, on the other hand, as of making this video, he is 18 years old, so also keep that in mind. We also have more messages here to the victim from Ouija Pie saying, Real friends and I've actually got nothing but fake people that backstab me rather quickly or just use me until they've had enough. I'm so sorry, I'll just stop. I know it's really weird and I apologize. My brain just denied it. The fact that it's weird because of how much because of how much I wanted to be appreciated, it's just so hard to deal with and I don't know what to do. I've acted the same way with Pyro because he seems really kind too. I've tried to tell the two people to stop harassing you, they always do that. There are more messages here that Lucas sent to the girl, saying, Oh, I'm sorry, I just get extremely close because I pretty much have nobody. Those trolls are supposed to be my friends, but they just do that. It's annoying, that's why I'm trying to look for new friends. I just have pretty much nobody and it feels lonely, I'm sorry, I'll be less close from now on. I just feel so alone and I act like that because it makes me feel happier. Been trying for more than a year to just find some real friends, but I've actually gotten nothing but fake people that backstab me rather quickly or just use me until they've had enough. I'm so sorry, I'll just stop. I know it's really weird and I apologize, my brain just denied it, the fact that it was weird because of how much I want to be appreciated. It's just so hard to deal with and I don't know what to do. I've acted the same way with Pyro because he seems really kind too. I've tried to tell the two people to stop harassing you. They always do that. When I find friends they don't like, they just ruin it. And I'm 16. I thought Pyro told you. I'm sorry. I'll stop. Now, this is a lot to take in. This is basically Lucas's victim blaming and spamming her with like guilt messages. He also says he's 16 here, which we will get into right here, where the document says he also lied about his age multiple times, often saying he was 15 to fit in with her and saying he was 16 and after that confirming he was 17 when all of this happened. We see a message here between Ouija Pie and Pyro, the writer of this document. Pyro saying, how old are you? Ouija Pie says 16. Pyro says, which way do you think of her? Ouija Pie says, I don't know. She's just here in my mind. This is the first time this happened. Pyro says, oh, that's funny. I thought you were 17. I recall seeing it somewhere. And then Ouija Pie says, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I say that I'm 17 in some places because I started using this stuff when I was 12. Now, Ouija Pie is a famous YouTuber. He has over 2 million subscribers and his birthday is public knowledge. And he is 18 years old now, 17 when this happened. After the whole rejection thing, they decided to give it another go with newer boundaries. She was expecting him to learn from his mistakes and be a better person. But alas, four days later, he confessed to her. In these messages between Pyro and the girl, the girl says, Ouija Lucas Pie confessed to me. And it's only been like, what, four or five days? 
days since I decided to give him another go, you know, form a deeper friendship, be good pals, you know? So it seems like Ouija Pai just cannot get over this person, even though she, again, is much younger. He is just relentlessly saying, please be with me. Please be with me. I love you. I'm you are the one for me and will not stop. She goes on to say, because this time he actually he said some pretty upsetting stuff. He and he actually cried over voice chat. He said, and I quote, you make me so happy. I feel as though I don't need to take my medication. And Pyro just responds with, oh, wow. He uh, and she says, absolutely. I kind of panicked afterwards. And he kept saying stuff like, um, I don't know where I'd be without you. I'd be lost without you. From there, I didn't really know what to do or how to react. He doesn't mind what I say to his confession or something. He can keep it platonic. He just wants to keep having fun with me. I don't know, man. It felt so messed up. I didn't want to encourage him, but I did. And it landed me in a stickier situation than before. And the document says, here's a link to the 12 minute audio to Lucas Ouija Pie confessing to my friend. Take it as you will. It's a painful listen. I'm sorry. And you know, of course, I'm going to have to play you a clip. I've, I've been just really attached to you. And like, no one has ever made me this happy. And like, I don't know if it's because like, I've just been lonely for so long or something. And if my brain confuses, like love or something but i just i just really appreciate you and i i don't want that to change now this goes on for another about 10 minutes and he says that he loves her and he starts crying and saying he doesn't know what he would do without her. The document continues on saying he also admitted to stalking this person. She asked him if everything's OK and he said, I should be asking you that. Or should I? Is it my business? I kept noticing patterns everywhere of depression, heartbreak, self-harm even in what you're listening to. I know that's basically stalking and I'm sorry and I fully acknowledge that. I just seem to get worried and to go into things very deeply. But in the end, it's none of my business. It says after the confession, he only became more obsessive. The document continues saying after the confession, he only became more obsessive. And she says he just bought Spotify premium for the sole purpose of listening to music with me. And it shows two listeners on Spotify. I'm starting to doubt our plan less and less. Please, please, I can't take this shit no more. And he says, I want to propose to you, but we aren't even officially dating. And she goes, fuck, dude. And he just he he makes his Spotify picture him and her characters. And then it says, I heart her name. He mentions going on a family trip to see her and he wants his dad to meet her. And then she says to Pyro in quotes, I'm not going to keep asking because I'm being annoying, sends 10 fucking messages. And then we see here his messages to her on Discord saying, please, I don't want you to worry. I'm here. I'll always be here. I want to listen and tell you it's going to be OK because I know you're strong, all this stuff. My childhood friend, she was like you probably because she's also a child and he just keeps going on. And she says, I told him I'm fine, but he's convinced I'm upset. Yeah, I'm upset. He makes me upset. I'm upset. <laughs> and this kind of thing just keeps going on. He's just messaging her way too much. At least that's what this Google document shows. Again, we're going to go over all of this, the validity of it and how it could or could not be real after, but this is what's in the documents. He also started to become more explicit, calling her cute in public calls and creating fake scenarios in his mind, saying that she fell for his charms. And all of this at this point just seems like a role play. He's sending her 20 messages. She's saying like, thanks. And that's it. He's like, I have a big urge to call you a cutie in public and all this stuff like that. And Pyro continues with her and me clearly wanting to get rid of him. We designed a plan. We're going to pretend like we were dating on Twitter so that he maybe might get the hint and leave, which only triggered him more, I guess. And she asks Ouija Pai after pretending to date Pyro, do you feel negatively towards me at all? I wouldn't blame you if you did after what I did. I mean, I don't want to go back to this. I don't want to bring up anything that'll make you upset again. I'm just worried. And he says, I just don't know if I should say it again because of what I caused here. You realize that like I'm in love, right? There's literally 0% negative feelings about you. I'm just in fucking love. I'm trying to get rid of it, but it just won't work. I'm just the biggest idiot, the biggest loser. Again, he's just like internalizing it all and, and trying to make them feel guilty for him. He's just pretending to be the victim. He kept using her OC character in videos and posting it on Twitter. And after seeing a bunch of this, she finally said something. She took the first step and stopped following him on social media and ignored him on Discord. And slowly he did too. And here we have on Twitter Pyro saying that they were uncomfortable with Ouija Pie wearing a hoodie in a video. Ouija Pie responding saying literally don't care. And here at the end we have Pyro saying I believe this is the end of it. He didn't try to reach out anymore. But after hearing that he's been doing more of his weird things to his friends and giving poor excuses for it. I couldn't keep my mouth shut about what he had done. 
to one of my closest friends and gotten away with. And lastly, Lucas, if you're reading this, go fuck yourself. I told you I'd come back, bitch. Sincerely, Pyro. So we have a, a little a little send off here at the end. And there is more to these documents. Like I said, they're very, very long. If you want to read them, I will put the link to the Google Doc in the description. Now, all that we've heard since this has been released are a couple of tweets that Ouija Pie has put out. He said, yet again, a lot of crucial details left out on purpose. Currently, I'm in the hospital, so I'll make a proper video debunking every single point made against me. It will take time to both get out of the hospital and make the video covering absolutely everything, so please be patient. He then goes on to say, I wouldn't even attempt to debunk anything if the document was truthful. Again, give me one or two weeks and I'll address every single point as well as others you haven't mentioned, and I wonder why. Now, this is completely acceptable for someone to take some time to write out a response, but he's saying here that he's going to debunk every point, and there's a lot of stuff that was left out, but I think there's some stuff Ouija Pie needs to directly address immediately. And those things are the nudes that he sent and received from a minor and the videos of him having sex with a minor that he sent to his friend. Those are by far the most serious allegations that took place in that entire Google Doc, way above any of the harassing and stalking and all that stuff. Having photos and videos of an underage girl is way, 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 way more serious. And that is the stuff that needs to be addressed ASAP and might not be able to wait two or three weeks for Ouija Pie to get out of the hospital. Again, this is assuming that all of this is real. Ouija Pie, if for some reason you're watching this, if all of this is true, if everything in this Google Doc happened, no matter the reason, just take accountability for those two things, say that it happened, tell the truth, get it out. But with that being said, I want to go into how this Google Doc was formed and how real it all looks. Now, this Google Doc was compiled by multiple of Ouija Pie's friends who were in his Discord server for years, who had been talking to him for a very long time, and who were also mutual friends with the girl in this case. Now, I shouldn't have to say how easy it is to fake screenshots and to fake Discord DMs and Twitter DMs and things like that. So take all of this with a grain of salt, but this is a lot of evidence, and there are file names, there's receipts from Twitter, from Discord, from Roblox, from Instagram, even some from like Portal 2 in-game chat. There's really a lot going on here. So with all this different type of information compiled, it does make it a bit more believable. And the fact that this Google Doc was compiled by all miners themselves makes it a little more believable that it would be a little poorly written and have some edge here and there. Now, with all this information out there, what do you guys think? Do you think this is acceptable because he was 17 at the time? Do you think Ouija Pie here is just the next YouTuber to be caught in these serious allegations? To me, this does feel very serious, and just the fact that he sent a video of him and a 14-year-old having sex to his friend, that's enough for me to hate this guy. So it... Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. When Ouija Pie puts out his full response video, I'll make an update video to let you guys know what is going on. But that's all for me. If you want to see more videos like this, give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. And I will be back next time. Bye.